This is life in Namibia, the most mysterious country in Africa where women share their lives. Namibia is a vast country with an area of nearly 825,615 square kilometers located in southwestern Africa. It boasts breathtaking beauty with its fiery red dunes of the Namib Desert, lush green grasslands, and expansive wildlife reserves. This country has a unique history of formation and development, influenced by various cultures from indigenous people to Europeans. Notably, Namibia is home to the Himba tribe, where women are naked all day while greeting guests. Additionally, this tribe allows wives to sleep with guests as a sign of respect. It's estimated that more than 70% of the Himba people raise at least one child who is not their own. Furthermore, Namibia has the dangerous Skeleton Coast, where 1,000 ships have wrecked. Let's explore 17 fascinating facts about Namibia, the most stunning stargazing country in the world. Number 17. Women with bare breasts in the modern world, but living in northern Namibia, the Himba tribe still lives in a primitive way. Women here do not wear tops and keep their breasts exposed even when interacting with strangers. The girls only wrap a small leather cloth around their lower body. This tribe lives almost entirely separate from the outside world. Today the tribe consists of about 50,000 people, concentrated in western Kaukaland in the northern part of the country. The women of the tribe use red okra mixed with fatty goat milk to make ojitsi, a mixture applied to the skin and hair to protect the body from the harsh equatorial sun. Water is very scarce in the Kaukavel Desert, and the Himba people never bathe. They burn fragrant herbs and cover themselves with goatskin blankets to create smoke, then apply ojitsis to their skin and hair. It's number 16. Allowing wives to sleep with guests to show respect. For generations, the Himba people have practiced polygamy. Many young girls marry at a very young age. Due to this practice of polygamy, the lifespan of men here is extremely short. They rarely live past 15 years old. This is not unusual, as many tribes in Africa have similar customs. What is unique is that in Himba communities, men are the head of the household and make all decisions. When a male guest visits, the man shows hospitality by allowing his wife to sleep with a guest while he himself sleeps in another room. If no room is available, he will sleep outside. In most cases, the wife has no say in the matter. In some instances, if the wife strongly objects, she will not have to sleep with the guest but must still spend the night in the same room. When asked why they maintain such an unusual tradition, the tribe explains that this form of hospitality aims to reduce jealousy and foster relationships within the community. Men in the tribe often have two wives and genetic testing of a sample group shows that over 70% of the Himba people raise at least one child who is not their own. What do you think about this? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 15. Using feces to build houses. Each Himba house has a conical structure, bound together with mopane leaves, a common leaf in Africa, and the walls are built from mud mixed with human waste to add solidity. When you look at their homes, you'll see simple furnishings almost as if they live in the most primitive conditions. According to Himba beliefs, this style of construction wards off evil spirits and brings good luck to each family. They even believe that living in such a house helps women stay youthful. An interesting fact is that Himba women are considered the most beautiful on the dark continent. Especially the braided hair of the Himba people is also quite unique, as it's rarely kept clean and is often covered with mud mixed with human feces. During joyous events or a bountiful harvest, everyone comes together to participate and celebrate. Number 14. The Ghost Town in the Desert of Namibia. About 100 years ago, the town of Kolmenskop in the Namib Desert was thriving, but now it has become a ghost town and is gradually being buried by desert sand. Kolmenskop is a ghost town in the Namib Desert in southern Namibia. Although small, it was once a famous diamond mining hub. After discovering that the area was rich in diamonds, hundreds of prospectors from Germany flocked to Kolmenskop, causing the remote area to prosper. Kolmenskop was built in the architectural style of a German town, with amenities like a casino, cinema, swimming pool, dance hall, power plant, ice factory, etc. The town began to decline after World War I as the diamond reserves dwindled. Eventually, in 1954, Kolmenskop became a deserted ghost town when a German architect, the last resident, left. After decades of abandonment, the houses are being overtaken by sand. Sand flows into the houses, creating a desolate and chilly scene. Therefore, it has become a famous location for spiritual exploration. Number 13. Healing Dance Alongside the Himba tribe, the Sand tribe is considered one of the oldest remaining tribes of humanity living in Namibia. 
Their way of life still follows traditions from thousands of years ago, including trance dances believed to invoke sacred power. Trance dances are performed by both male and female shamans, who are thought to mediate with the spiritual world and guided by elders. These dances are conducted as rituals to create psychological and physiological changes through increased ventilation and rhythmic dancing. This practice aims to heal diseases by exercising malevolent spirits causing illness and addressing vices within the community like envy, quarrels and anger. To perform the trance dance ritual, a large fire is lit in the village, attracting the community to gather around. Women and children sit around the fire, singing and clapping in rhythm, while men, including the shamans, wear ankle bells to create rhythmic dance movements around the fire. As the atmosphere becomes intensely energetic, some shamans enter a trance state. They are believed to access the spiritual world to recharge and seek guidance from ancestral spirits. The ill are then brought forward for shamans to touch the painful areas on their bodies, channeling energy to expel malevolent spirits causing illness into the night. In addition to trance dances, the San also have other dances like the Ellen Dance, performed by young girls during puberty to cleanse negative effects that youthful beauty might bring, such as making antelopes infatuated, requiring the girl to live in seclusion for a period. What do you think about these practices? Share your thoughts below. Number 12. The Upside Down Forest in Namibia. The Quiver Tree Forest, or Kokboom Woud, is located about 14 kilometers northeast of Keetmanshoop, on the way to Coes, in the Garaganus Farm. With around 250 to 300 sparsely growing trees, this area is famous for the unique beauty of the quiver trees. The indigenous people of South Africa used quiver trees for traditional weapons like arrows and spears. Despite living in arid conditions, these trees can reach heights of 7 to 9 meters. The trees have thick trunks with brownish-yellow scales around them, creating a distinctive appearance. The quiver trees are also known for their upside-down look, with branches resembling roots. The quiver tree is considered lucky, with the belief that it will bring fortune to anyone who worships and nurtures it. It's said that if you find one of these trees, you will have diamonds for life, but since these trees are blessed, no one wants to dig them up. In addition to their cultural and spiritual value, quiver trees have various practical uses. The smaller trunks are used to make arrows, while the larger trunks are used for storing food and water. The fibrous tissue of the trunk helps cool and preserve food for extended periods. Simultaneously, quiver trees have high ecological value, supporting the lives of many insects, animals and birds. As a protected national monument in South Africa, the quiver tree forest plays an essential role in environmental conservation and biodiversity. What do you think about this unique tree? Share your thoughts. Number 11. The most photographed dunes in the world. Namibia is a country with stunning natural beauty, featuring unique locations that captivate global visitors. It's home to some of the highest dunes in the world. The tallest dune in the Sossusvlei area is Big Daddy. This massive dune, situated between Sossusvlei and Deadvlei, stands at a height of 325 meters, making it the tallest dune in the Sossusvlei region, though not the tallest in the Namib desert. In fact, Dune 7, which is 388 meters tall, holds this distinction. Dune 7 is named for being the seventh dune along the Tisarchib River. Big Daddy, Big Mama, and Dune 45 are considered three of the largest dunes within the Namib Nokluf National Park in Namibia. These seemingly endless dunes have become popular tourist destinations for those seeking an extraordinary experience in Africa. The stunning beauty of these dunes, particularly when viewed from above, showcases the endless splendor of nature. Notably, Dune 45 stands out like a precious gem. It's one of the most photographed dunes in the world, rising 170 meters in the Namib Desert. Its name derives from its location approximately 45 kilometers from the Sejrium Gate. The millions of years old red sand here serves as a geological history book. Climbing to the top of the dune is a thrilling experience, though it can be challenging due to the loose sand. However, from the summit, you can enjoy the breathtaking view of the vibrant red sand dunes contrasting with the deep blue sky. Especially at sunrise and sunset, the scene becomes even more magical with its ever-changing colors. Number 10. The largest game reserve in the world. Itosha National Park, one of Africa's premier wildlife reserves, is located in northern Namibia. Established in 1907, it spans an area of 22,270 square kilometers. The name Itoshe Novambo means Great White Place, referring to the large salt pan that dominates the area. 
Itosha is home to the big five lion, leopard, elephant, rhino, and buffalo, as well as hundreds of other animals like giraffes, zebras, antelopes, and over 340 bird species. The Itosha salt pan, with its high mineral content, is mostly dry throughout the year. However, during rare rainy seasons, it comes alive with a thin layer of water that attracts thousands of flamingos. The sight of thousands of flamingos fluttering across the sky and covering the water surface is an unforgettable experience in Namibia. The well-maintained road system and evenly distributed rest camps make it easy for visitors to drive and explore the park. Wildlife viewing at natural waterholes is a memorable experience. During the dry season, animals gather in large numbers around these water sources, providing excellent opportunities for wildlife observation. Number 9. The Skeleton Coast With one of the world's second lowest population densities, Namibia boasts vast and untouched areas across its extensive territory. This has resulted in a unique natural beauty where nature remains largely unspoiled. The sparse population means many regions in Namibia have not been heavily impacted by human activity, allowing for effective conservation of nature and biodiversity. The Skeleton Coast is one of the most mysterious and beautiful areas in Namibia, Stretching along the northern coastline of the country, it's known for its rugged terrain, pristine landscapes, and the remnants of numerous shipwrecks. The harsh conditions of the skeleton coast are vividly illustrated by the whale and seal skeletons scattered across the beaches, remnants of past whaling activities and frequent shipwrecks. Dense fog, strong currents, and large waves have made navigation extremely challenging, turning this area into a ship graveyard with up to 1,000 ships having wrecked here. The scattered shipwrecks along the Skeleton Coast serve as a stark reminder of the area's dangers. One of the most famous wrecks is the Dunedin Star, a British cargo ship that ran aground in 1942. Many rescue attempts failed, making the story of this ship a legend in maritime history. Today, the remnants of the Dunedin Star and other wrecks like the MV Southwest Seal create a haunting yet fascinating scene, attracting explorers who are drawn to mysterious places. Despite the harsh conditions, the Skeleton Coast possesses a captivating raw beauty. The combination of barren plains, rugged cliffs, and ever-shifting dunes creates a unique natural tableau. Although the climate is arid, the cold Benguela current brings fog, supporting a diverse ecosystem with various birds, lions, elephants, and hyenas adapted to the desert environment. Regular tours are organized to explore the area's pristine beauty and learn about the history of the shipwrecks. One famous destination is Cape Cross, home to the largest seal colony in the world. With its unique experiences and breathtaking natural scenery, the Skeleton Coast is sure to leave a deep impression on every visitor. Would you be interested in joining a tour to this area? Share your thoughts. Number 8. The Oldest Desert in the World the Namib Desert in Namibia is a place that has existed for 80 million years, making it the oldest desert in the world. Some animal and plant species have managed to adapt to life here, despite the harsh climate, such as mountain zebras, short-eared elephant shrews, and Grant's golden moles. The southern part of the desert is much drier, and the only animal capable of surviving in this climate is the gemsbok. An interesting fact about Namibia is the dense fog often found along the coastline, which serves as a vital source of life for the desert, providing enough moisture for many well-adapted species to thrive. What do you think about this fact? Share your thoughts below. Number 7. Multiculturalism Namibia is a multicultural country with a blend of many ethnic groups, each with its own unique customs. The Avambo people are the largest ethnic group, making up nearly half of the country's population. Other ethnic groups such as the Kivango, Hiro, Damara, Nama, San, and Himba also contribute to Namibia's rich cultural tapestry. Notably, the Himba people stand out with their unique way of life. They primarily reside in the Cunain region in northwestern Namibia, leading a semi-nomadic lifestyle focused on cattle herding. A distinctive feature of the Himba is their red okra kid skin, which they apply to protect against the sun and insects, and which is an integral part of their cultural identity. Additionally, their elaborate hairstyles and jewelry contribute to their unique appearance. Another fascinating fact about Namibia is its remarkable linguistic diversity, with around 30 spoken languages in total. More than 11 languages originate from Namibia, but due to its international culture, languages from around the world are also spoken. Oshuambo dialects are the most used languages in Namibian households, with Oshuambo accounting for 49% of the population, followed by Koikoegawab, Afrikaans, Rukwangali, and Ochiarero. 
Number 6. The Best Country for Stargazing Namibia is considered one of the world's top destinations for stargazing. The nights are often clear, especially during the dry winter months with minimal artificial light or air pollution. Stargazing is a major activity offered at nature reserves located deep in the arid southern region of Namibia. Visitors not only get to see wildlife but also to admire the twinkling stars in the African night sky. The sight of stars glittering above the dunes and mountains with a lively backdrop of wild animals offers an unforgettable experience. Number 5. A large seal population. Swekamund is a city with unique German colonial architecture and is another attractive destination in the country. The palm-lined streets, European-style buildings, and lively atmosphere attract many tourists. Here you can enjoy various activities such as sandboarding, mountain biking, skydiving, or exploring museums to learn about the city's history. North of Swekamund is home to a large population of Cape fur seals. These colonies can number up to 10,000 seals and even reach up to 1 million during the breeding season in December, densely populating a 10-kilometer stretch of coastline. This abundance is due to the lack of human interference, which keeps fish supplies plentiful, as well as the absence of pollution and hunting threats. This creates an impressive scene. Visitors have the opportunity to observe these marine creatures as they bask on the rocks, swim in the waves and interact with each other. The noisy calls of thousands of seals provide an unforgettable experience. Number 4. Black Rhinos Are Protected Namibia is a beacon of hope in black rhino conservation. Thanks to relentless efforts to combat poaching and protect habitats, the black rhino population in Namibia, particularly in the Kunin region, has shown significant recovery. Black rhinos, with their distinctive horns and smaller size, were once at the brink of extinction. However, thanks to community-based conservation initiatives and stringent government policies, this rare animal has found a safe haven in Namibia. Local communities play a crucial role in protecting black rhinos, participating directly in anti-poaching patrols and actively working to preserve their habitats. In addition to black rhinos, desert lions are also a symbol of remarkable adaptation to harsh environments. Living mainly in the Kunin region and the Skeleton Coast, desert lions have developed unique traits to survive in arid conditions. They can travel long distances without drinking water and have keen senses of smell and sight to hunt at night. Desert lions play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of the desert ecosystem. Number 3. The Cold Desert Country Although Namibia is a desert country, it's not as hot as many might think. The average temperature here ranges from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, with generally cool weather year-round. Occasionally temperatures can drop to 10 degrees Celsius on some days. The hottest months are usually January and February, when temperatures can reach up to 40 degrees Celsius. Number 2. The first country to incorporate environmental protection into its constitution. One of Namibia's distinctive features is its inclusion of environmental protection in its constitution. As a young nation, Namibia took a bold step by prioritizing nature conservation. This reflects the country's long-term vision to safeguard its valuable natural heritage for future generations. With its vast desert areas, Namibia boasts a highly diverse and unique ecosystem. The Namib Desert, one of the oldest deserts in the world, is home to many rare plant and animal species. Environmental protection has helped preserve the pristine beauty of the Namib Desert, allowing visitors to experience unique natural wonders. Almost half of the country is protected, showing Namibia's commitment to conservation. Over 40% of the land is under conservation management. This is one of the few African countries with an increasing wildlife population, including thriving numbers of leopards, lions, zebras, oryx, and rhinos. This is particularly impressive given that the country's wildlife populations had nearly collapsed in the 1980s due to drought, poaching, and war. Thanks to conservation efforts, visitors to Namibia have the opportunity to explore a stunning wild world. From observing desert-adapted elephants strolling across vivid red dunes to exploring mysterious caves or simply enjoying the fresh desert air, Namibia offers unforgettable experiences. What do you think about this country's actions? Share your thoughts. Number 1. Selling elephants for money. According to data shared by the Namibian government, the country currently has over 24,000 elephants, and selling some of them is necessary to reduce human elephant conflicts while raising funds for conservation and wildlife management. Last year, elephants killed three people, and there have been reports of crop damage in recent years. 
However, the United Kingdom and several other countries have questioned whether Namibia is violating the site's convention by exporting these elephants. The convention stipulates that African elephants from countries like Namibia cannot be exported to a country that previously did not have or currently does not have wild elephants unless conservation benefits can be demonstrated. In December 2020, Namibia auctioned off 57 elephants to three different bidders. 15 of these went to a domestic nature reserve, while the other two winning bids were overseas. The Namibian government stated that it could not disclose details about the destinations of the elephants until contracts were finalized. They still need to export 20 more elephants, which has caused outrage among international organizations over Namibia's sale of its elephants. Although Namibia has not yet announced or confirmed the destinations of the elephants, the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums has confirmed that one of its members, Al Ain Zoo in the United Arab Emirates, purchased some elephants from this auction. What are your thoughts on Namibia's actions? Share your opinions. So we have explored 17 unusual things about Namibia. Do you have any thoughts on these or have you ever visited Namibia? Be sure to comment and let us know. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you in the next videos.